for this project I'm going to make a square frame for weaving okay. so I've got four twigs of roughly similar thicknesses and lengths just going to lay them out in a square pattern myself a length of cord okay. I think I'll start with this I think I'll start over here Let's see okay. so I'm going to choose a twig to start on what I'm going to do is tie a clove hitch Okay, so you go cross your sticks over, making sure that your <laughs> clove hitch is nice and tight. And you're just going to go under, go around the back, and come over the top. You go around under the back, come over the top. And you just go follow that round times. When you've done that a few times, you're going to do some frapping turns. So you're going to go around through the center. So you're going to pull it nice and tight. Then, preferably before you run out of string, you're going to tie another clove hitch in the end. There to finish off. Fingers aren't working today. So that's a square lashing there. Now we're just going to repeat for the other four corners. Just finishing up the last one now. Yeah, so we should have a frame that looks roughly like this. Okay, yeah, now we're going to start on the threads going through the centre. So we're just going to cut lengths about yay long. Just going to tie one end up at the top. Use any knot you feel like. Just gonna put a mini bow line here. Yeah. The other end. Let's show off with the or not. Basically you want nice taut lines running from one end to the other. Okay, I'm going to get the other strung up.
here we go. That's the last one done. So, there's our frame sorted. Frame can now be used to weave various different things like leaves and stalks and pine needles. So, you get the children to just start at one end, weave it through. Will help with motor control. If I develop that dexterity, just and create patterns. Okay, use one of these in. See, the closer you put the strings together, the better the effect. And there we go. So that's finished weave. So this has endless uses depending on your materials, and you can obviously make it more difficult with finer spacings between the parts, or you could even go across as well, get them to create patterns. So, hope you hope this is useful, and good luck. Thanks for watching. Bye.